celebrating the victory of a revolution. 31 years ago, communists, nationalists and Islamic parties grouped together to oust a king they deemed pro-Western and despotic. Under the leadership of Ayatollah Rohollah Khomeini, a new government was formed to head the newly created Islamic Republic. Iran's revolutionaries also fought for more freedom from state and independence from the West. And it's that spirit that is celebrated every year in one of the most symbolic events in the Iranian calendar, with mass rallies, anti-Western slogans and speeches. But this year the country finds itself in more unstable times. This year is more sensitive than previous years. First, because of the internal politics which enemies have focused on. And second, because of the nuclear, missile, space and other issues, which they don't want us to have. They have drawn their sword and we should still think that it is a psychological war against us and they want to threaten us. At home and abroad, Iran is facing its critics. In the last eight months, the country has seen some of the most violent scenes of confrontation between people and government forces since the revolution itself. Iran's opposition leaders maintain that the re-election of Mahmoud Ahmadinejad was a fraud. They say they are fighting for justice and rights, just like many of them did 31 years ago. Several of Iran's revolutionaries are in prison or on trial for involvement in the post-election unrest, accused of acting against the Islamic Republic. The leaders of the opposition, including Mir Hossein Musavi and Mehdi Karoubi, say they will take part in Thursday's events, along with their supporters, many of whom were not even born at the time of the revolution. Young and old, reformist and conservative, Iranians of all generations and political persuasions wanting to have a say in the Islamic revolution's future. Nazmin Sadri, Al Jazeera.